I'd like to remind you that Michael Schumacher only got his debut in Formula One because another driver was in prison. In 1991, Jordan driver Bertrand Garchot was arrested for assaulting a taxi driver and put in prison before the Belgian Grand Prix. The Jordan team were therefore left in need of a replacement fast. A young Schumacher was contracted with Mercedes-Benz who were looking to get into Formula One soon, but the German team had so much faith in their driver, they paid Jordan $150,000 to give Michael a shot in their Formula One car. Still hesitant, Jordan gave Schumacher a call to check him out. When he asked whether or not he'd been to Spa before, Schumacher said yes, even though he'd only been there as a spectator and never a driver. Eddie was convinced, Schumacher qualified in seventh place, and the rest is history. One of the greatest Formula One drivers ever was born. He was then signed by one Flavio Briatore to drive for the up-and-coming Benetton team at the next race, and none of it would have happened if Garchot hadn't lamped a London taxi driver. <laughs>